Welcome to this third in a series of five sessions where I'm showing different ways to get ArcGIS data inside AutoCAD files. In the previous session, I demonstrated the ability of ArcGIS for AutoCAD to use ArcGIS for AutoCAD web services. I demonstrated the ability of ArcGIS for AutoCAD to use ArcGIS for Server web feature services to access some of this data. In this session, I will highlight the tools of ArcGIS Desktop to push ArcGIS data into AutoCAD files directly. We will focus on creating AutoCAD files using Esri's ArcGIS for Desktop application ArcMap, ArcMap extensions, and geoprocessing. I will then take a look at my results inside Esri's ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. Let's get started. In ArcMap, I combine geoprocessing tools together to make models that help me automate all different kinds of simple and sophisticated analysis and data migration tasks. The outputs of tools can be the inputs of other tools. These connected models or scripts become my own custom geoprocessing tools that have their own inputs and outputs. I use my custom geoprocessing tools in the same way as any other geoprocessing tool. I create CAD files in ArcGIS Desktop with the Export to CAD geoprocessing tool. The Export to CAD tool takes as input one or more GIS layers and combines or distributes those GIS layers to one or more AutoCAD or MicroStation files. I commonly use this tool to copy GIS data into CAD files, but I also publish the results of my GIS analysis to CAD by simply adding the Export to CAD tool as the last tool in my geoprocessing models or scripts. When I use the Export to CAD tool, I don't want to export millions of features that may be in my GIS datasets into a single CAD file. I want to export a select number of features. Creating a selection set before I export the map layers allows me to control how many features I'm publishing to a CAD file. I can employ the Make Feature Layer tool to create selection sets within my models and scripts, or I can simply use a graphical selection like I'm doing here when I'm working directly on layers here in ArcMap. A trick I use is to change the Table of Contents tab to the Selected Features view which ensures I don't accidentally add a layer that doesn't have a selection set applied to it that would result in overloading my CAD drawing. By default, when I export a feature layer to an AutoCAD file, I get an attributed ArcGIS data set embedded within my resultant AutoCAD file. If I have plain AutoCAD, I can work with this file as simple AutoCAD entities. However, when I load ArcGIS for AutoCAD, I see the data as both simple entities and ArcGIS attributed feature classes. ArcGIS feature classes are created here in my drawing that have the same name as the GIS layer that was exported. These feature classes have the schema and attributes of the source GIS data, and they are also simple AutoCAD entities. This drawing that I created from the Export to CAD tool contains the coordinate system of the original GIS data. I can add more ArcGIS content to this drawing, like this base map from ArcGIS Online, and it's properly located here in my drawing. I can override the default behavior of Export to CAD. If my GIS layer had a field named Color, for example, it would draw each entity in the drawing depending on the color number value of each feature. Similarly, if I have a field called Doc Path populated with different CAD file path names, it would send individual features to those different CAD files. Depending on what I need to do, I can get pretty fancy with the way I generate CAD files with the Export to CAD tool. Fancy can also mean complex. If my goal is to create a very specific formatted AutoCAD file where the GIS content is secondary, by all means I'll do what I need to do to create the most complex CAD file required. If my primary goal, however, is to use my GIS data in ArcGIS for AutoCAD as a GIS dataset, I strongly recommend using the default behavior. The Data Interoperability Extension is a popular data migration and manipulation toolset. This ArcGIS desktop extension can convert many different spatial datasets to many other spatial data formats. One of those data formats 
is the AutoCAD file that includes the mapping specification for CAD used by ArcGIS Desktop and the ArcGIS for AutoCAD plugin. Using the Data Interoperability Extension's MSC Rider, within its Workbench Conversion Framework or with the Quick Export Geoprocessing tool, creates ArcGIS datasets inside of AutoCAD files. This ArcGIS data stored in the AutoCAD file contains the same type of ArcGIS data created by the Export to CAD Geoprocessing tool. I can use the Data Interoperability Extension to accomplish simple conversions of GIS to CAD. It also excels at automating and executing very large and very complex translation tasks that can all result in rich ArcGIS content within AutoCAD files that I can use in ArcGIS for AutoCAD. ArcGIS geoprocessing models or script tools can be accessed over the web through ArcGIS for Server as geoprocessing services. Since I can finish off most any geoprocessing model with the Export to CAD tool, this means that most geoprocessing services can create their results as smart AutoCAD files. Here is one such example. I can use this data extraction web service powered by an ArcGIS geoprocessing tool to specify my area of interest as a polygon and then get the results of the requested data clipped, zipped, and shipped to me as an AutoCAD file. In this way, I can use the geoprocessing services to disseminate geographic content and analysis functions in a variety of different data formats, including the smart AutoCAD drawings used by ArcGIS for AutoCAD. The resultant drawing has a defined coordinate system put there by the Export to CAD tool. I can add the ArcGIS map service to this vector data, and I see the data in its original geographic context. I can access all of the data's tabular attributes here in my drawing. Let's review. Regardless of whether I create AutoCAD drawings from ArcGIS Desktop, the Data Interoperability Extension, or Web Services, when I view them in ArcGIS for AutoCAD, I can see them as attributed feature classes with their included coordinate system definitions. I showed ArcGIS for Desktop creates smart AutoCAD drawings with the Export to CAD tool. When I used the Export to CAD tool, it included the coordinate system definition in the data. I used selection sets from map layers to limit the amount of data I export to CAD. I discussed the benefits of field-driven override capabilities of the Export to CAD tool, but I also made a strong suggestion that when interoperating between ArcGIS and AutoCAD to keep it simple for the best results. I introduced and demonstrated the use of geoprocessing services that can create CAD files. I also used the Quick Export tool from the Data Interoperability Extension to create these same kind of AutoCAD files. In the next session of the series, I'll take a look at importing ArcGIS feature classes and schema from existing ArcGIS for AutoCAD drawings.